Hi, welcome to Ransom Spares. In this video we're going to be showing you how a washing machine works, taking a look at each component in turn which should help you diagnose faults and help you when you're ordering parts. First of all we're going to remove the lid of the washing machine. Sometimes the screws are on the back, however on this one they're on the sides. Once the lid's removed, we're first of all going to take a look at where the water enters the machine and this is the water inlet valves. This is where your inlet hoses are connected to. If you're having a problem and your machine isn't filling up, it's the valves that could be at fault. First of all though, check your hoses aren't kinked and check your water's turned on. Water will then enter your dispenser drawer via the dispenser housing where your fabric softener and detergent is. We get a lot of customers complaining to us that their fabric softener or detergent isn't being taken into the machine. And the biggest problem is that the dispenser housing is actually blocked up. If we take out the dispenser drawer and then we can take a look at the dispenser housing itself from inside. And as you'll see by this one, there's a lot of black mould and gunge that is blocking the holes so water can't drain into the dispenser drawer and take away that detergent and fabric softener. If this is a problem that you're facing, then you need to clean thoroughly your dispenser housing from inside or if that fails then simply replace it and that will cure the problem. Next we're going to remove the front panel. The front panel on this hot point comes away. First of all we need to remove the fascia panel though. Once this is removed we can remove the kick strip which is at the bottom of the machine which then gains access to the screws for the front panel at the bottom. Next we need to remove the front part of the door seal. This is done quite simply by prising away the door seal retainer with a flat bladed screwdriver. As you can see this comes away nice and easily. Make sure you save the wire retainer for when we refit the door seal at the end. The door seal then simply peels back ready for the front panel to be removed but first of all we need to remove the door interlock. This is held in place by a couple of screws on the front panel. The door interlock is a safety mechanism that ensures the machine will only work when the door is closed. Now if you've got a faulty door interlock the symptoms will be that your machine will appear dead. Once the door interlock is removed and the door seal front is removed we can then remove the screws that are holding on the top of the door panel. Now the door panel will simply just lift away. Getting back to water entering the machine, water enters the machine via the dispenser to tub hose. It will only reach a certain level which is determined by the washing machine's pressure system. The pressure system is made up of a pressure chamber, a pressure hose and a pressure switch. If your machine is overfilling then this could be the area for concern. Pay particular attention to the pressure chamber for blockages and the hose for any holes. Obviously a washing machine is susceptible to leaks and these can be from all perishable parts of the washing machine including the tub itself. Next the water will begin to heat up. This is done by the heater element which will be found at the bottom of the machine. If yours is faulty then your water won't be heating up. This is controlled by the thermostat which could also be the cause of the problem. Once the heater element has been turned on the wash cycle will begin and your drum will turn backwards and forwards agitating the clothes. Now if your machine fails to do this then there's a problem and it lies normally with either the belt or worst case the motor itself. Don't suspect the motor straight away, um, it's likely to be the carbon brushes if the belt is still intact. Once the machine has finished the cycle it will then pump the water out. This again will be found at the bottom of the machine. So if your machine isn't emptying then this is the likely cause. Always check for blockages first though. The final part I want to mention is the control module or timer, the brains behind the machine. When something goes wrong people often assume this is where the fault will lie. However more often than not the fault actually lies with one of the components we've already mentioned. 
Well, thanks for watching. The machine we've been demonstrating on is a hot point washing machine. If yours is another brand, then it might be slightly different. However, the components will all be very similar.